hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is kat i am the nurse flipper and it has been almost a year since i have made a video about teacups so since prices change all the time i feel like we need an update so i am going to show you the top 20 selling teacups individual teacups that sold for over 500 dollars for one teacup if you think they're not out there, I will tell you they are. I have sold multiple teacups, single teacups for over $500. They are out there. You just need to know which ones to be willing to pay up for. And I am going to show you exactly what those are right now. To make a very important point before I start sharing this with you and that is the name by itself is not necessarily money all of these names have lower dollar teacups teacups overall are only a 10 percent sell-through rate that means most teacups are going to take over a year to sell Therefore, most of them are not worth picking up. You need to look up the exact teacup you find. If it is not marked nine times out of 10, it's better to leave it on the shelf. No matter how pretty it is, it probably is gonna take a long time to sell. So please keep that in mind. Make sure you find the name and the pattern to compare apples to apples when you are buying. If you have these in your collection, you are very lucky. Some of these prices have went up and a lot of them have went down since I did my last video. And I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you right now. First up is a Limoges Berry t b Red green and gold. This one is a three-piece set. It is the dessert plate, the teacup, and the saucer sold for a best offer on $524.99. And here we will take a look. Beautiful, beautiful holly. This one it would be absolutely amazing to decorate for Christmas. Here you can see that mark on the back. I will zoom in there to show you. You can see the TB France and there it is a little closer. This is a really, really pretty detailed teacup, and you can see they do put quite a few pictures. I say this every research video, but when you are selling these higher dollar items, you need to put quite a few pictures there, and this one was a great sale, three-piece set, and $500 sale. Next is another three-piece set, and this is actually what my teacups that have sold over for $500 have been. Not the gold color. I had different colors, but they were Ainsley. They were J.A. Bailey Cabbage Rose, and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. So this three-piece set sold for $550. This is one that typically stays at least around that $500 mark. There is that Cabbage Rose print, and here they are showing there is some wear to that gold on the outside. You can see the J.A. Bailey there. That is definitely a name on Ainsley teacups that you want to watch out for. It typically is the higher value ones. Here you can see them both from the top. That J.A. Bailey is on all three pieces, and these have held their value. Some colors are worth more than others. So again, with these teacups, you need to make sure you find the exact teacup that you have. And this one was a really, really good sale at $550. Here is another name that comes up time and time again, and that is Paragon. The double warrants typically sell for more. This one is white gardenias on a pink teacup and saucer. This one was a Canadian seller. It sold for US dollars, $598.60. 
this one was an auction. It got 19 bids. And after we take a look at the pictures, we will take a look at where they started this auction. So here you can see this one is just a teacup and saucer. This one is not a three piece set beautiful gardenias. So when they say double warrant, this is what they mean. You've got the two there and it's by appointment of the queen. These were used in the palace. That is why they are so expensive. And Paragon double warrants, not all of them are big money. So again, find that exact pattern. So let's go ahead and take a look now. They got 19 bids. And it looks like there were nine different bidders. It was a seven day auction and it was started at Canadian 150. So it increased almost four times on that original start up to that $598 selling price. Next, I love this teacup because I love courting couple scenes. This is an antique Dresden cabinet teacup and saucer Germany. This one sold for a best offer on $599. This is another Canadian seller. So if you're in Canada, you need to watch for the teacups. I have said that before. Let's take a look at this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous scene with them in like a landscape. The detail on this is beautiful. It's got very heavy gold gilt on it. As you can see here on the saucer, looks to be in excellent condition. It's kind of hard to see that Dresden mark on this one, unfortunately is out of focus, but this one was a great sale coming in close to $600. Here is a new name for me, and that is why I do these videos so I can learn along with you. This is a Joan Takayama Ogawa porcelain gold teacup and saucer. This one says it's sculptural art clay, sold for a best offer on $650. And we'll take a look here. This looks to be a smaller teacup. This one, I don't think I would have recognized that it was as valuable as it is. And here is the bottom. It is kind of hard to read, but you can see that Joan Takayama. It is from 1999. So it is signed as far as identification. You can see both the teacup and the saucer are clearly marked. And this one was a great sale at over $600. This one is neat and a little bit different than the rest. It's almost like a little cameo teacup. This is a rare old Paris Empire style classical teacup and saucer with bisque faces and ram head. Sold for a best offer on $695. We'll take a look here at this teacup. You can see the handle here, very, very delicate. And there is one of the faces. Again, they're kind of 3D cameo style on this. And there is a little bit of wear here. I just want to point out. So make sure you take pictures of everything. The ram's head is there on the handle. This one is an unmarked teacup. But again, be very, very careful picking up unmarked cups because a lot of them were mass produced and do not have much value. However, this one was a great sale, best offer on $695. Here is another name that is new to me. This is a beautiful antique Kornilov Russian Imperial Porcelain Teacup and Saucer. This one sold for $699. And here you can see them separate really, really pretty pattern on this, not overly elaborate. I think they're using that $5 just to give a idea of size. And here you can see that mark. So there is that Made in Russia by Kornilov Brothers and their crest as well. And they do show pictures with the tape measure. 
and a great sale. Again, not a name I'm familiar with. So keep an eye out for Kornilov Russian teacups. There are a lot of new names on this one, and I think this is actually my favorite one. Oh, maybe my second favorite one. You'll see my favorite later. But this is a gorgeous boudoir and bloc, Paris blue forget-me-not, and raised gold gilt teacup and saucer sold for a best offer on $695. Here you can see them separate. I love the blue and the forget-me-nots on this one. This one is a small little teacup. You can see here with them holding it. And the inside is just solid white. There is that saucer and beautiful, beautiful forget-me-nots. Here is the bottom. So you would be able to identify it. You can see the Bailey Banks and Biddle Philadelphia on this. And there's the other mark. I don't know how they identified that as boudoir and bloke because it says Bailey Banks and Biddle. I am I am unsure about that, to be honest with you, but this one was a great sale at almost $700. Here is another Paragon. This is a vintage Paragon English. England, it says it is the largest red cabbage rose. So the cabbage roses... A lot of them are valuable. Watch for these big cabbage roses. This one is signed R. Johnson, and there's actually only one picture of this one. It sold for a best offer on $795. I don't know if it was a double warrant since we can't see the bottom, but this one was a great, great sale. Watch out for those cabbage rose teacups. This, my friend, is my favorite one, and I absolutely love craft and pottery. They are located here in Florida in Panama City, and I have shown their teapots. I have shown their pitchers. They make some amazing, amazing pieces. This is a cat teacup and saucer. It is by Mitchell Grafton. It was an auction, got 19 bids and sold for $910. We will take a look here. His work is always so amazing, just really whimsical and realistic. You can see the two little mice coming out of the cat. This is a bigger teacup you can see here in his hand and really, really cool piece. Let's go ahead and take a look. And again, this is the artist selling them. He does sell a lot on eBay. So this one had 19 bids, nine different bidders. It was a five day auction and it was started at $149. And it ended up at 910. Beautiful, beautiful piece of art by Mitchell Grafton. Next is a Mizen, which is another name you need to know. And I will show you the mark on this one. This is a rare Mizen yellow B form trio set, cup, saucer, and plate. It does say scattered flowers and gold. This one sold for $990. And here you can see this one is an absolutely gorgeous set as well. A lot of these are more detailed, but there are some plain ones that will bring the big money as well. This one looks to be in excellent condition. And let's see if we've got the mark here. Hopefully we do where I can show you that Mizen mark. Where is it? We will find it. There it is. So the Mizen cross swords is what you need to look for there. There it is on the other one. And this one was a really great sale. Look at how many they have. That is a lot of money sitting right there, a lot. And they did split it up. They are selling them individually by the set and a great sale at almost $1,000. Next, we have another Paragon. This one is turquoise and gold with the pink red. They didn't even put cabbage rose, but it is the cabbage rose print. This one was an auction, got 30 bids, sold for $1,085. They are located very close to me in Tampa, Florida. So here you can see the back of these. I'll try and zoom in a little bit here. This one is not a double warrant. It is just a single warrant. 
and look at these beautiful, beautiful cabbage rows and a great sale. We'll go ahead and take a look here. They got 30 bids and it was a seven day auction. There were six different bidders and it was started at $89, $89. It went up over $1,000 and sold for $1,085. Next is another Paragon. This one has a name, so I wanted to put this up here for you. Just like J.A. Bailey with Ainsley, this one is an F right. You can see there in that bottom left corner by Paragon. It sold for a best offer on $1,150. And here you can see the edge of that one. There is the whole cup. Beautiful, almost like... Uh, airbrushed painted scene on this one not as clear as a lot of those are here is the exterior of that this one is not a double warrant either you can see the bottom the paragon there and it does have it is appointed by queen elizabeth but it was not a double and great great sale best offer on 1150 dollars here is one, they missed the A in antique and <laughs> still sold. This is a Paris Au Petit carousel teacup and saucer. They did put Severus style circa 1775. This one sold for a best offer on $1,195. And here you can see the beautiful detail. Again, heavy on the gold, which you do see quite a bit in these higher dollar teacups and flowers throughout so kind of an all over print and you can see here up close the detail i don't think this one is a marked one. Oh, it looks like it is let's see really really hard to see but that is that aw petite there it is wore off it does say m-a-n-u-i it looks like there on the top so this is another name that is new to me, and this one was a great sale at just under $1,200. Next is an early Misen floral encrusted Blanc de Chine teacup and saucer. This is another one from the 1700s. This one sold for $1,195. I do wanna point out, this one says it has numerous chips and losses to the encrusted flowers, but otherwise in good condition. So even though it had chips, it still sold for $1,195. We will take a look here. This one is solid white. So not a lot of color, but it is older from the 1700s. You can see here, I see a leaf broke off. There are flower petals broke off. So that goes to show if they are rare, even with damage, they can still sell for a lot. There is that Misen cross sword mark that you need to keep an eye out for. A lot of damage on this one and still sold for that $1,200 mark. So don't, don't let chips totally deter you. Next is another Sevres teacup and saucer. This is another one circa 1788. This is the same seller as the other one. So they must have found a great collection. And this one sold for $1,295. Here you can see this cup. I love the color on this. Beautiful, beautiful coloring on this one. And it is blue with the gold all over pattern there on the bottom. And here is the bottom. This one says KK. There is a mark. I am not familiar with that mark. And I don't see a name to that one. And it was a great sale. This seller obviously knows their teacups. You could, if you found something similar, try to use Google Lens to identify. And this one was a great sale at almost $1,300. We are up to our top four, and we are starting that with a heron. This is a Julia teacup and saucer. This individual teacup sold for $1,434. Beautiful, beautiful teacup. This one did come from Japan. I do want to zoom in here so you can kind of see that heron. It does say heron Hungary. And they are all marked to my knowledge. 
great, great sale for $1,434. Another Paragon coming in close to the top. This is another F right. I told you guys, you got to watch for that. This is a small one. It is a Dimitas teacup and saucer set with a peach cabbage rose. This one sold for $1,799. This seller is also in Florida. They are in Daytona Beach. I need to get out here and be finding these teacups, guys. Got to look look a little bit harder. So here you can see that F right there on the bottom of that rose print. Sorry, I'm like blinking here for a minute. The outside of this one is plain. This is a really, really pretty set. There they are zooming in on that F right, both on the saucer as well as the cup. Look at that saucer. Beautiful. Here is the bottom. Another one that is appointed by Queen Elizabeth. There is the bottom a little bit closer and a great sale at almost $1,800. This one is pretty neat. This is an antique Mizen cherub putty teacup saucer. It is 3D, which is really, really neat. It does say coral handle, 19th century vintage. This one also sold for $1,799. And we'll take a look here. Look at the handle on this. Really neat with the 3D cherubs. I haven't really seen anything like this. I feel like this one is probably pretty rare. And this one definitely would catch my eye if I came across it. There's a fish there with those cherubs. Look at that saucer. Really, really, really neat. The, the cherubs are fighting each other. <laughs> this is a really cute one. There are your Mizen swords there on the bottom to identify it as a Mizen cup. And you can see it's a teeny tiny. It is another Dimitas that sold for almost $1,800. The top selling we have seen before. We have seen this exact cup before in multiple teacup videos. This is a rare Ainsley pink chrysanthemum butterfly heavy gold teacup and saucer set. This one sold for $2,349 came out of Florida. I, I'm slacking. I got to find these things. So over $2,000 for a single teacup. The chrysanthemum is historically been one of the highest selling and it continues to be. I've been doing these videos for several years and this one has been in most of my high dollar videos. There is that Ainsley mark you can keep an eye out for but again, not all Ainsley is worth money. Some of it is not. So make sure you find your pattern. And this one is the top sale. Absolutely incredible. Single teacup for $2,300. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love doing teacups. My most viewed video as a teacup video. And I do find them but obviously I'm not looking good enough because there were a lot of Florida sellers and there were some amazing, amazing teacups. Let me know what your highest teacup sale is. I have sold one for 650. That is my highest so far. So hopefully one day I will be able to beat that. Or if you have some of these in your collection, share with us down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you are not, make sure you still are. And I hope you have a wonderful wonderful week. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. I will see you on the next one.